Good evening everybody, so this is A42, this is part 14, let's play Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Last time we left off, we, we pretty much uh, finished up all the side quests of uh, chapter 8. And today's episode, we're gonna um, see if we can finish up chapter 8 and possibly start with a little bit of chapter 9. So uh, we have to um, go back to uh, Aerith's house because you, you, you may remember um, this lady next to the uh, leaf house, she was saying that she saw a, a Turk he heading towards her house. But before we do that, we're going to stop by at Chadley first, because I I could have sworn I thought I did this uh, in the previous video. But that's what uh, practice runs are for, right? Because I'm going to buy I'm gonna buy this um, this particular um, a material from Chadley, but I'm not going to quit it right away though. But hopefully when I, when I get to a later chapter during, during a certain boss fight. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. Man, when I get the PS5, I, re I really hope um, they fix some of the uh, loading times when you talk it. to certain I've characters. Alright. Alright, so this is the material I want to get, the steel material, but um, I'm not going to equip it right away. I'm going to save that for a later chapter when you fight a particular boss. And you understand once we get there. Alright. I'll get this material. Alright. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Let's see any um let's see any uh anos um for your mission spawn yet. Nope, just a shiver. Just I just I wanna make sure. Alright. Now I could uh equip uh win on Earth, but um but I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. But you see why in just a moment. So now we uh, take this road and go north. Yep, we just see a familiar Turk. Yeah, we kind of saw him before, briefly. So yeah, it's so a meet Rude. <laughs> yep, Rude the Turk. Man, he's so rude. No pun intended. What is he, Otacod? Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? Huh. He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who be They're not Reno? Rookie's eyes. They're Soldier's eyes. What if I am? Need to okay, Rue was saying something about uh, you don't want to beat Reno, all. right? So yeah, he's kind of ticked off about that. <laughs> Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. Huh, ain't that the truth. <sighs> yeah, just because you do bad things doesn't mean he's a bad guy. Don't take it personal. Oh, I won't. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> you Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. Hmm. You want to talk? I was about to say that. All right, so time to fight, rude. Wow, he's kind of like that too. All bark, don't bite. <laughs> Alright, so let me throw S's at him, and I'll show you why um, I don't want to quit win just yet, because... Yup, here's the thing, Rude, he's weak to win, but here's a catch, though. <laughs> if you use win on Rude... Alright, if you use uh, win on Rude, uh, you, you can easily uh, cheese this fight with win. You hit, you hit Rude with win three times, he's pretty much out. Oh man, I hit circle to dodge that she went dodge. You're done. That was pretty nice. One more shot. I'll take care of them. So first class. All right, second phase. Okay. And notification on my phone. So 
check that in a second. Not yet, ma'am. No, I don't believe that I have. Go on, All right, so yeah, we don't need freaking uh, win on Rude because, like I said, man, um, you can easily cheese this fight with win because three hits, he's out. I'm not even kidding. Oh shit. Don't overdo it. So it's my turn. Cloud's pretty strong, isn't he? I've seen this type before. I as you as you zoom in on rude. Uh, that kind of break him also. Right, I'm gonna use cure on cloud. I'll take care of you. She went fucking dodge. There's nothing I can do. Oh, oh! This is one move that Rude does, but I didn't show off. Cause sometimes he will grab uh, Cloud by his legs and swing him in circles and throw him like with a uh, King Bow, like with Maru do the King Bowser when he swings him by the tail and throws him. I right, use a triple slash, and that should finish him. Or not? Well, I mean, um, we should get him pressure. All right. All right, he's done. 1,200 gills gained. You know I can't do that. Okay, now I, now I can see what the notification is. Ah, <laughs> the freaking uh, the victory fanfare. Yeah, I barely heard because I got the, I got the TV turned down a little bit, where I can barely hear it. Okay, this one ready. Understood. Dun 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 dun. I need that as my ringtone. Apparently so. Man, you and Archon got 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 a nasty habit of fixing your glasses. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with that, but I mean, nasty in a good way, you know. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Yeah, 2020 is over, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, thanks is um it's about to get better. Thank God. Fuck 2020. Ain't got shit on me. They ain't got shit on me. Alright, so now um now that um uh, Rude is out the way, we can um go 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 visit Eric's uh, house. But just to be safe and sorry, let me uh check the uh oh no. Let me uh go go to your map and check the quest. And make sure we finish six uh, side quests of chapter eight. Now, when we go back to uh, Eris' uh, house, there is gonna be a new discovery um, quest that's gonna spawn, and it, it's gonna only spawn once you uh, complete all the uh, side quests of chapter eight. Wait a sec. Like right now. But yeah, this discovery quest right now so will only spawn. If you um complete all, if you if you beat every side quest in chapter eight, yeah, this is an interesting cutscene coming up. So you want to see this cutscene? Then I suggest you um beat six side quests in chapter eight. Oh, and it's a material taunting us, but we're gonna get that after the cutscene goes off. You talking to the? Huh. So yeah. Yeah, the flowers are her it was babies. That kind of day. I'm not gonna lie, those flowers look look so pre-render a little bit. Let's go. Shouldn't keep mom waiting. Hey. Well, oh, she ran long enough because all the they cycles we've been doing. Time. Shit. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But you know. Oh yeah, Missy, don't she's gonna start a new um new place on her stream tonight? Maybe uh, Lake's Awakening. Never mind. Mug saw three snake like eater. Me after all. Or Metroid Prime Two, depending on if it wins, because she did post the avoiding poll, and the last time I checked, Metroid Prime is in the lead. Tell me anyway. Really? One mug of salt three. Yeah. Think you want to be honest? 
It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. I think I might got that there with the something Toronto they Air of. Need to share with us about the future. That's the I mean, if you played the uh, original Final Fantasy VII, then I guess you can probably guess where this is going. But before they can, there's a final step that has to be taken. I swear, I think Air knows something. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Yeah, you may have to go on Reddit and look up these theories. I mean, I, they got these uh, air theories on uh, on Reddit. And most of them are pretty, pretty long to explain. <laughs> well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Every time I hear today's special, I'm thinking that, that, that show years ago. Today's special. <laughs> okay, time to go. Alright, but before we do that... Huh! I love how the flower is rose. Did the flower say anything? Uh, they probably uh, said, give me a call sometime. Today? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That's the spirit. Alright, let's go get that materia. Alright, let's see. What's this materia? The MP up. I could have we got that already, but... Doesn't hurt to have a second one, you know? Alright, so we're pretty much at the end of chapter 8. So once we uh, go to the door, she, she's gonna she's gonna let you, she's gonna be like, Are you sure you wanna go in? You're heading in already? So yeah, if you have any if you if you didn't finish any side quests, you can always hit no. If you finish them all, you might as well make story progression. So yeah. Yeah. That's enough for one day. I mean if you wanna if you wanna skip skip the side quest then just hit yeah, but um Let's just say you're gonna miss out on a certain been? outcome. I've been worried sick. Sorry. We got a little sidetracked. Way sidetracked because we were doing some side quests and shit. Ah, great. Now see, even if we um went straight to Eris' house without doing side quests, I'm pretty sure she's gonna gotcha. she gonna cut us out for being late. Take a load off, okay? Take a load off. Uh, that could have taken out a that, people could take that out of context, you know. Just saying. Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You oh yeah, we'll be heading off to uh, sector seven. I'm back. Good. Now I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I'm a little hungry too, to be honest. Good thing I brought some Oreo cookies for the stream. Missy stream tonight. I kind of miss stream myself. It's mostly because 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 new Wi-Fi I've been so using. Proud. Every time I try to stream on PS4, the it just goes straight to an error. Women must be hounding you day and night. Hey, look, that's uh, Cloud's mom. Really. She looks like freaking uh, Elena Fish you know, off uh, the Uncharted series. Yeah, Claudia. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl, one who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. Oh my God, her freaking eyes so. look like the uh, the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> girl, I could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. Oh man, That's just if her eyes was like a Chaos Emeralds, then she better watch out for Dr. Eggman, did. Okay, this part coming up. Oh my goodness, this part coming up, man. I struggled so hard when I played this on the uh, on the original version hmm. and doing my last stream of the remake version. So yeah, so we're playing a little uh, Metal Gear Solid in a way. Okay, let me check the uh, guide or whatever. Leave the house without being spotted by Aerith. Yup. Yeah, 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 yeah. To do this in, in the original version, and oh my goodness, it was a nightmare. All right, they're gonna give you a tutorial about it right now. All right. Try to think out of the house without letting Aerith spot you. Be careful not to bump into anything by accident. Aerith will notice if you make too much noise. 
So yeah, so you have to tiptoe. Oh, but here's the catch though. The more times um the more times you get catched by Aerith, the easier it will get. I'm not even kidding folks. It literally gets easy depending on how many times you get uh depending on how many times you get caught by Aerith. Cause see it, cause you, you gotta uh, avoid bumping through all this all this shit, right? Like the bug in the stool. So if I get caught by Aerith, then one of the um stools or bug will disappear. But but as I, as I mentioned, once you get caught a bunch of times, then most of the environments will will despawn, making the sneaking mission a little easier. And there's kind of a reason for that. But my best bet that you want to keep it in the joystick like slightly. As if he was playing uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 back on the PS1. Oh yeah, it's gonna be thinking that little that little one specific quote in Metal Gear Solid 1 where Madison Miller trying to teach uh, Saw Snake how to uh, how to sneak, and he was saying something about um... oh yeah, Madison Miller he was uh, trying to teach uh, Snake how to sneak right by walking very slowly. And Snake broke the fourth wall saying, I can't do that. But here's the thing though. The reason why Snake couldn't sneak because he could he, he literally couldn't sneak because you hit the joystick, he'll always run no matter what. So Master Miller was pretty much telling Snake to uh hit the joystick like slightly so he won't make a noise like I'm doing right now. Man, Charlie Mugger saw one. It got a lot of Easter eggs and a lot of fourth wall breaking jokes. <laughs> now you may remember I tried to let's play that. I remember I tried to let's play a Mugger saw one way, way back, but um, but I had to remove them because I was a little skeptical about the whole uh, master uh, party content thing. And oh my god, I hate when I had the camera zooms in like that. Okay, this is a this is a problem. This is a problem. There we go. But yeah, I was a little skeptical about the whole... Okay, seriously, come on, camera. Okay. Anyway, uh, the reason why I moved the uh, Metal Gear Solid Let's Play because I was, I was so skeptical about the, about the uh, Master of Party content back then. And I didn't want to take any chances. But up to this point, man... I mean, I still get some Master Park contests nowadays, but it doesn't really bother me as much anymore. Like my my latest uh, Final Fantasy VII remake, let's play got a Master Party Your content because because so, that hall is in the background. It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector Six. It You're doing Chapter exactly Six we're in right now. You should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You well, promise it. me, don't fall in love again. Pass me, Cloud. Don't fall in love with me. They had that infamous quote from the um, from the original version. Because deep down, son, I think I knew. I think Eric knew what was going to happen eventually during the uh, during the original version. All right. So now we snuck out of here. Now we got to um, get out of sector six and go straight to um, sector um. We're, no, we're in sector five. Sorry, sector five. We're going to sector six right now, but we gotta get to sector six to go to sector seven. You feel me? But yeah, anyway, we gotta escape from. We gotta uh, leave sector five by going to the tunnel, and I gotta say to say that um, now nah, take the other direction. Doesn't matter which way you take. But yeah, so let's just say that we're. We're we're literally at the end of chapter eight right now, so the only way to beat chapter eight now is that by going straight to the tunnel and that's gonna take us to our to our next chapter. Yep, that tunnel right there. Alright. Let me see something real fast. If I stand still right here. Oh okay. So yeah, you can't really see Eric beforehand. Talk about a coincidence. <laughs> what are you doing here? Yeah, how the fuck did you get here before I did? 
Where's she coached me off of Pinocchio for that stupid idiot? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> off Lurie like Jesse. Lead on then. Yep, chapter nine, the town that never sleeps. Like the city that never sleeps, like the Spider-Man DLC on the PS4. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. <gasps> oh, you know it's that teardrop, right? Oh shit. I think I know what Cloud just fucking saw. It's nothing. I think I know what Cloud just fucking saw. Now, if you played the original uh, version of Final Fantasy 7, though a spoiler alert. When you get the when you get the end when you get the end of disc one, right before you fight uh Genova? Aerith does. She gets killed by Sephiroth in the original Final Fantasy VII. And I think that's what Cloud just saw just now doing, doing that little migraine segment. Alright, so we're gonna start a little bit of chapter 9. I mean, I could end the video right now, but. It feels like the video is a little too short. Just about the fact we had 20 minutes. I mean, I used to cook my videos at 20 minutes back in the day, but, um. Right? I didn't tell you. But why not uh, show off? Why, why not show? Right why not show a little bit of a chapter nine? Know much about this why place, not? Or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all. But yeah, I gotta say, chapter nine is one of my uh, so personal favorite chapters. In shops. <laughs> and yeah, chapter nine. It, it's. I gotta be honest with you. I find the chapter kind of, kind of wacky. <laughs> but it's much later on in this chapter. I mean, if you guys watch my live stream of this, it had me rolling. Didn't much care for the law. <laughs> now there isn't any. Right. I can't remember which part it was Instead of that live stream, but but I, I did live stream for the very first is. time, and my god, this chapter had me fucking rolling. Out of sight, out of and it had me go, what the fuck? For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So what time is it? 4:40 now. Okay. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Uh -huh. I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. Alright, take the shortcut. Alright. I guess it's one of the only time I uh <laughs> see as I said normally I would I would end the video when I, before I start a new chapter but this is one of those times uh where we keep we make keep recording going. It was kind of like that when I recorded with the game Industrials. Alright, for some reason uh, Cloud can't run, so you gotta play by the game's rules and let him walk. You know, I could uh, equip uh, win with Aerith, but we're still, we're still not gonna do that. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way. It'll be an adventure. All right, we want to see some new enemies. We're gonna collapse the tunnel. Okay, those guys are weak to uh, ice. Now's our chance. Let me teach him a lesson. Ha! <sighs> I freaking love the music here. All those damn, um, the, the lesser three. Yeah, they're weak to win. It's on now. Deal with that. I'll show you what I can do. Y'all yeah, heard on the PS5 oh, version of Final Fantasy VII Remake, they may fix the uh, combat system a little bit. Not bad. Yeah, I gotta be honest. Yeah, the, air, the airborne combat is, is kind of garbage in this one. <laughs> Just by the slightest. Kind of cute, don't you think? Uh, Alright, there's a chest back here. Yeah, I know a lot of people complained about that. Alright, so let's just, let's just climb down here and just upgrade the, um... Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. Alright. I wonder if we can use this. 
So yes, yeah, so we gotta go to the little terminal and activate it. And oh my goodness, man. I had a little trouble just doing my live stream with this. Okay. So right so hit the left joint to raise the raise the uh, lower arm. Okay, left joint to raise and lower arm, right joint to rotate arm and hit circle to have air climb on and off. Safety warning, on for safety, only load or unload arm within the area marked by the yellow lines. Yeah, like 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 the uh, like the parking lines, uh, like right here. Let's, let's, let's back it right here and um, give air for Rudd. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. All right, let's throw for a Rudd. Okay, I literally hit. I mean, I'm, I'm about to say I'm literally hitting a circle. up here oh and drop her off piece of cake give me a sec and here comes the ladder huh the uncharty oh, gimmick what did I tell ya Wow, it that was kinda sound like the uh the duo face of a Star Wars uh the Phantom Mess a little bit. You know the one where it goes do 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 Yeah. Uh come on, give her a high five, Cloud. Good enough. Let's keep on trucking. You're on the ladder. Oh, okay, um, Wait, do we got Thunder, uh, cast it? Wait, let me, let me go into material. I need to make sure that, um, that, uh, Era has, uh, Thunder equipped. Yep, she does. Because... Stop. This is why. Did we wake it up? I guess. Right, let me scan that first. Too bad. Yep, there we go. It's on you. Didn't mean to hit that. It's like when you speed run a motherfucker. Alright, Thundera. Like the new Thundera. I'm, yeah, I'm currently watching that right now. Thundercats on the fire stick downstairs. Alright. Oh, I could have uh, set the right arm, but that's okay though, because we killed the motherfucker. I still love the Thunder Kiss. If anyone was wondering, I'm watching the, uh, the 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 old school one, not the reboot of shit. I wonder if someone blocked it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? Apparently, this cutscene is kind of missable. Hmm, that's supposed to be a compliment. All right. Okay, there's another, there's another chest over there we can get. We got two high potions. And, and we go. I think after I finish recording, I'm gonna give me some potato chips. Something I'd also get my snack on doing a live stream when I watch Missy Thorn stream tonight. Because as I, as I mentioned, she could start a Metro, uh, I'm gonna say Metro of the Elm. Metro Prom 2, Mugger Saw 3 Snake Gear, or um. You're done. Oh, Lakes Awake, or Lakes Awake with the Switch. I'll show you what I can do. Steady. Okay. Here, can you take over for me? Yeah, with the blizzard. We got blizzard? No, Aerith does. Feeling chilly? Alright. Uh-oh. Oh, damn. 
some bolts and shit, gears and all. But yeah, I noticed everyone's playing uh, Resident Evil uh, 8 uh, Village like non-stop recently. Did I get the game? Nope, and I'm not playing it anytime soon. I hear the game is short and all, which doesn't surprise me because it's a Resident Evil game, what do you expect? Most of the Resident Evil games are short, even Resident Evil 3 is short. Okay, we can't do- Oh, chest! That's the game I uh, did a live stream that, that one time. Um... Okay, I honestly can't see down here. Alright, let me uh... Okay, this, th there has to be a terminal up- Like a terminal up there. Oh, hello! I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know? I can't fucking see this fucking uh this temple at times. It's all dark and shit. You oh, I just got. I got muted. I just got hit with something. Jesus Christ! Oh yeah, I can't use any magic because um I got muted. Man, there's just too much shit going on. Holy crap! Alright, I'm gonna use a uh, refocus. I know I have it in me. Go on. Tagging out. I got Alright. That's done. Good grief. Ain't to find me a goddamn bench. Okay, I see. I must see why. I must. See, yeah, I took the wrong turn. Cause man, I cannot fucking see this fucking temple. Good grief! All right, we can easily get that materia. Hey, I bet you can grab that container with the arm. All right. So yeah, we can hit the. This time it's gonna tell us to hit the X button to grab the uh, container. Because we need to, um, we need to, um, move that container for Eris, uh, safety, you feel me? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna put the container on the right. Oh my god, cutscene. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a third, uh, container yeah, puzzle, which was bad. never featured in the original, uh, version. As a crane operator or something? Well, I never, wow, I never noticed that Eris has a belt. Seriously, Cloud? Just give her a high five, man. Oh no, look. Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Alright, as I was trying to do. I'm gonna head down. Let's move the uh, crate to the right. So, so we can have Eric get that materia. Okay, Cloud, ready. All right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You can also reread this. You can also uh, reread the uh, squash by hitting the uh, touchpad if you want to read it again. Hmm. Oh, I would laugh so hard if you can uh, if you make the machine uh, <laughs> flip, flip somebody off. Alright, let's drop her off here so she, so she can get that materia. Then we gotta pick up Eric again and um, have her drop the ladder. Hold on a second. Gotcha. And yeah, don't think we're gonna beat this chapter in one part anyway, cause uh, chapter 9 is, is kinda long also. When we get to chapter 10, I may, I may see if I can beat chapter 10, I may, I may be able to, uh, finish chapter 10 in one part, but we'll see, though. We'll see. Okay, right there! Hold on, while I drop the ladder! 
Alright, working together. Alright, I think after I fight a few uh, enemies, then we may call, may call an episode. I know this is where it's time to cliffhang, but like I said, to be Whoa, fair, over here. we're not gonna finish this part one. We're not gonna finish our nine one part anyway. I'll tell you what. Yeah, uh, yeah, I ended off here at this little, this little mini cutscene. Well, jumping's not an option. That's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. Yeah. On the way down. So can we. I guess this is a good place to stop the uh, to stop the episode. But first, let me um, buy me a CD. All right, accessories. Why well, ain't give everything accessories? Well, I, I I'll probably do that on off camera. I'm buy me some ether. Oh, I'm gonna tell you right now. I need I need more than uh, five thousand gill by the time I get to the wall market. So I'm gonna try I'm gonna try my best not to spend so much gill. All right, so let me uh let me go heal up, and then we're gonna call an episode. Yep, it's for the best. <laughs> Alright, so next time let's play uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, we're going to explore more of uh, Chapter 9 and see if we can get to the, uh, to the wall market. So until next time, everyone, Celtics A42, out!